Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Here with the Cincinnati Bengals team preview for 2021. And um, yeah, going to be going over all this stuff. So hope, hope you guys have been watching the other videos, been covering all of the other teams. Be covering another team every day along with a fantasy video for each uh, team if you guys are definitely into fantasy football. So go ahead and check that out for the Bengals too as well. So yeah, going to hop into it. Cincinnati Bengals. Finished last season 4-11-1. and one. Um, Rough year. I mean, we know what happened. Joe Burrow got hurt early. Gruesome injury. Who knows how the season would have played out. If, you know, if Joe Burrow played the whole year, I bet they at least get six wins, seven wins. So they have a somewhat better looking season with Burrow playing a full season. Um, you know, we're going to go with their key losses this season. Lost A.J. Green. You know, I think it was about time. Didn't really do too much. 47 catches, 532 yards, and two touchdowns last season. I don't think he's going to be missed much. Lost Carl Lawson. You know, that was one of their best defensive players. That's definitely a loss. Losing William Jackson and then, then you know, Geno Atkins. Um, tough, tough shoes to fill. Those were two solid, you know, great solid players on the defensive end, which they were already bad at. But they got some new additions here. Got Riley Reef at the right tackle from the Vikings. That's a huge signing. They need some offensive line help. Picked up Trey Henderson from the Saints. 13 and a half sacks last season. Um, really solid. Uh, that did, they, need, they need all the sacks they can in Cincinnati. Drafting Jamar Chase. I think that's going to help them. Spent a first round pick on them. Their receiving core is already really great. So I think it's going to be a nice addition. Then they picked up Chidobe Awuzie from the Cowboys. Uh, gonna replace William Jackson. Let's see how solid he can be in that role. Um, looking at the total stats from last season here, we have the Bengals, you know, pretty much in last, only getting 319.8 yards per game, throwing for 215.5 yards per game, which is one of the lowest, uh, running for 104.3 yards, and only getting 19.4 points per game listen on the nfl if you're only getting 19 points 0.4 points per game you're not going to win very many games only throwing for 215 yards i mean we know a lot of that was without burrow so you know burrow looked really good in his actual starts when he did play but they had a rough year we know the quarterback play was horrible had no running game either mixon was hurt most of the year so um a lot of these numbers you can say are kind of they are what they are you know missing a lot of pieces that does play a factor uh, on defense, weren't a great defense. They were towards the towards the last, you know, bottom ten uh, in defense, giving up 389 yards per game, 241 yard passing yards per game, 148 on the ground, and giving up 26.5 points per game. Yeah, they weren't able to really stop the pass or run, and gave up a lot of points. So hopefully, those new additions and. Um, Maybe they can work, work their way towards the mid-tier on defense and uh, be an actual decent defense this season because their offense, I think, is going to be really good with uh, Joe Burrow. If he can be healthy, he's got an elite receiving core, one of the best receiving cores, especially young receiving cores, and Joe Mixon. If he can be healthy all year, it's a good offense. You know, They're not going to win the Super Bowl, but uh, could have a solid year. Um, Vegas currently has their win total sitting at six and a half here uh just looking at their schedule which i'm about to go over i'm gonna have to take the under six and a half You're only winning four games last year even with a full year of burrow they have a pretty tough schedule starting week one with minnesota tough game there they could lose that followed by chicago gonna be a tough game there and pittsburgh then jacksonville who knows how good jacksonville will be this year and then green bay I see a nice scenario where it could be 0-5 to start the season off. Um, then Detroit, I think Detroit's a win, definitely a winnable game. Then Baltimore and the Jets, they could definitely beat the Jets there. Then Cleveland, Vegas, I think they could beat Vegas. But then Pitt, I don't see it. Chargers, I don't see it. Niners, Denver, Baltimore, Kansas City, and Cleveland. I have them at four wins. I mean... <laughs> Maybe they sneak a win on Jacksonville. Or maybe one of these teams, like like Baltimore, they played twice. Maybe they sneak one on Baltimore or uh, Cleveland, who they played twice. Not a great schedule here. I mean, I 
I realistically see them winning four games. I'd be very surprised if they can win six games, then they pull two upsets off the season. So it's going to be a brutal season, I think, for the Bengals. But you hope for growth with Joe Burrow and you hope with Jamar Chase and Mixon. Hopefully they can get their chemistry right. And then maybe next year they can start building a better defense, building a better line. And maybe in the next two, three years, they can actually start competing in their division. But based off the schedule, I don't think it's going to happen this season. So uh, I think they're going to, I'm definitely going to take the under six and a half wins this season. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the team preview. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you have a bright future for the for, if you're a Bengals fan, but I don't think it's going to happen this season. I'll see you guys in the next video.